Can an AI chatbot win in the Supreme Court? Meet the world's first robot lawyer. Its founder, Joshua Browder, created this legal services AI-powered chatbot to help millions of consumers solve their legal problems. Its premise is simple, to provide legal help to those who can't afford a non-robot lawyer. So far, the cases it's been focusing on have mostly been small claims, from helping people to get out of unfair parking tickets to cancelling their gym memberships. Then, as ChatGPT rolled out and AI started gaining way more traction, or maybe it was because of all the haters, Joshua thought he could take his robot a step further by offering to pay any lawyer or person $1 million to use their AI in an upcoming case in front of the United States Supreme Court. However, there were a couple of problems with the aptly named Do Not Pays offer, and because of this, they received major backlash. Yet despite the high stakes, Do Not Pay refused to back down and stated that the AI is scheduled to argue in court. The problem with Do Not Pay's plan is that they ask for the person or lawyer to wear AirPods in the courtroom and then let their robot lawyer argue the case by repeating exactly what it says. However, this is considered unauthorized practice of law since the AI is doing the job of the lawyer. The second issue is the lawyer would be breaching their fiduciary duties to the client by allowing a robot to tell them what to say in court. And finally, according to the US Supreme Court rules, no computers, cellular phones, cameras, or other electronic or wireless devices are allowed in the courtroom. So because of this, after being warned by the state bar and prosecutors and receiving numerous threats of jail time and being faced with the prospect of legal consequences, do not pay decided to back away from the idea of putting a robot in the Supreme Court. For now. They're still intending to try this out in two areas where the court rules don't explicitly forbid AI technology and electronic devices. According to Joshua Browder, he's confident in the abilities of the AI and he wasn't willing to put anyone at risk. If it's not something extremely nuanced, training an AI model that could handle 99% of most court cases isn't anything too outlandish. However, the issue likely resides in the role of lawyers and the future of the legal professionals as a whole, as some worry that AI will replace human lawyers and lead to job loss in the industry. Then again, the other side of this is that AI could complement the skills of human lawyers, allowing them to focus on the more complex aspects of the case. Despite these challenges, the potential benefits of AI in the legal system cannot be ignored. AI could provide access to justice for those who can't afford a lawyer, and with the help of Do Not Pay, these people would be able to navigate the legal system and take action on their own behalf without the need for a costly service. While the future of AI in the legal system is still uncertain, it is clear that the technology has the potential to provide access to justice for those who need it most. And while the idea of a robot lawyer may still sound like something out of science fiction, this reality might soon be upon us. If you want to see more videos like this, click the subscribe button and let us know in the comments if you want more detailed content about using AI tools. But for now, have fun building.